Oke. Okay. <tuh> Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome uh, fellow student, fellow mahasiswa to your third meeting in the in the conversation class of ITB AAS. So let's us uh, begin. Uh, so welcome to your conversation class with your lecturer, Mr. Danang Gramapal. So this is uh, my picture. Yeah, I'll be in narcissist a little bit. Okay, so today topic in unit three, you're gonna have to, uh, to understand about how to order and how the waiter or the waitress will respond to your uh, order yeah so here i have a question for all of you uh, my question is how often do you eat out so eat out mean like you go out to a restaurant yeah not going out with your plates uh, and your meal outside your house bukan gitu ya jadi bukan makan keluar rumah ya. tapi go out itu uh, restaurant okay so basically, um, I often go out once a week, yeah, uh, with my family. Uh, and then, what kind of restaurant do you like to go? So basically, I don't know your style or your um, your what you call it, your flavor, yeah. Um, we have here uh, like expensive restaurant, a small local restaurant, family restaurant, and a fast food restaurant. Have you ever been to all of them or just maybe some of them? Uh, apparently, I have uh, been to, to been, uh, I've been all to that restaurant. Yeah? For, for example, like expensive restaurant the, in Australia, we have this um, called uh, Wood wood restaurant you know they call it wood because inside the restaurant everything is made of wood ya, jadi semuanya tuh interiornya dari kayu ya. bahkan lantainya and then the wall and then the what you call the table the chair ya. they call it wood so wooden restaurant yeah and sometimes in an expensive restaurant they they, they serve like uh, steak yeah and then like i don't know fish yeah. but fish are really expensive fish and then small local restaurant this is where i usually go yeah like before uh, i i have children and uh, just in the beginning of marriage uh, me and my wife uh, likes to go to this uh, local restaurant it's usually in the um, in the street yeah they call it the street vendors okay and then family restaurant Every restaurant is like, um, for example, like Wendy's, and then we have uh, what else in here? Well, in here, uh, I don't really quite know what what type of family restaurant is. Oh, KFC, KFC is also a family restaurant, yeah. But also family restaurant, they are they often uh, also renowned as a fast food restaurant. Jadi sekarang kayak McDonald, Wendy's, bersama KFC itu biasanya dinamakan fast food restaurant. But previously or before they were called family restaurant. Dulunya itu mereka disebut adalah family restaurant. Tapi sekarang uh, mereka dinamakan fast food restaurant. Okay. So here the thing that you say and the thing that you might hear. So basically here uh, you can practice uh, using these phrases uh, when you go out in a family restaurant okay for example like do you have a set menu can i have the menu please what special do you have today what do you recommend and then i have the soup to start with please now, excuse me what's a caesar salad what is the mexican mixed grill can you tell me what the house special is, please? And what sound, oh, sorry, that sounds good. How's your chicken? What's the soup like? And then it's delicious. It's a bit salty. It's service included. 
Can I have the bill, please? Okay, so this is only when you use uh, in a restaurant to order your food or to ask uh, assistant with the waiter or the waitress. And then this is the thing that the waiter or the waitress uh, might uh, reply to you. Okay, they would like they would like to say to you like, would you like to see the menu? Can I get you anything to drink? And then, are you ready to order? What would you like for starter? And for your main course, would you like, uh, how would you like your steak? Yeah. Who ordered the fish? Is everything all right with your meal? Would you like a dessert? Can I help you? Okay, so that's one double cheeseburger. Do you want a regular or a large shake? Do you want fries with that? Eat in or take away. Okay. So basically, in a the restaurant, they don't say um, who ordered the the food, yeah. But they they will say uh, the dishes name. Yeah. Jadi kalau di restoran tu jarang sekali uh, waiternya tu mengucapkan nama orang yang yang mesen. Tapi mereka mengucapkan uh, Nama makanannya, ya. contohnya tadi yang who ordered the fish, jadi siapa yang uh, mesen fish, ya. jadi bukan orang nama orang yang disebut. And for example like this phrase, how would you like your steak? How would you like your steak itu maksudnya adalah bagaimana kamu uh, ingin kematangan, ya matangnya steaknya kamu itu pengennya seberapa, apakah medium rare atau medium cook atau well done ya. biasanya kalau orang uh, orang native speaker atau orang bule itu biasanya mereka sukanya medium rare ya jadi agak setengah matang jadi mereka masih ada kayak ya gitulah juicy juicy tapi I don't know whether it's the fat or whether it's the blood ya jadi Kalau orang bule itu mereka sukanya setengah matang. Tapi kalau kita bagi orang Indonesia atau orang Asia, uh, kayaknya nggak suka ya, sukanya well done, ya, benar-benar matang. Ya, kadang gosong juga nggak apa-apa. Oke, okay, and then the next one here, listening, ordering a meal in a restaurant. Oke, okay. so here we have a, a sentence. Please choose whether it is the customer or whether it's the is the waiter. Oke. Okay. Let's do it together. First we listen and then we decide whether it is the customer or whether it is the the waiter who's who said the the sentence. Recording 15. A. Would you like to see the dessert menu? Okay, would you like to see the dessert menu as a waiter? B. Can I have the bill, please? Mm -mm. Can I have the bill, please? Who usually asks that question? Is it the customer or the waiter? The customer, okay. C. How would you like your steak? Mm -hmm. How would you like your steak? Is, is it the customer or the waiter? Yep. C is the waiter. D. Are you ready to order? Okay, D, are you ready to order? Is the customer or the waiter? That's right, it's the waiter. E, excuse me, can I have two coffees and a tea, please? Okay, excuse me, can I have a coffee and a tea, please? It's the customer, that's right. F, is everything all right with your meal? Okay, F, is everything all right with your meal? It's the waiter, okay? G, could I have some more rice, please? Okay, G, could I have some more rice, please? That's right, it's the customer. H, I'll have the soup to start with, please. Okay, H, I'll have the soup to start with. It's the customer. I, can you tell me what the house special is, please? 
Okay, can you tell me what the house special is? Yeah, it's the customer. Okay, usually um, when you ask for the house special, it means that uh, what they have uh, up to date. Ya, jadi masakan apa yang lagi lagi hits, ya, lagi promo itu. Itu biasanya what's the house special, okay? And then imagine you are a customer in a restaurant. Listen to the waiter's question. Match each question from A to E with the reply from one to five. Okay, let's do it together again. Okay, uh, remember to answer your book. Ya, jadi setiap kali kita bahas uh, satu unit, pastikan buku kalian harus diisi juga. Okay. So let us hear the listening. Recording 16. A. Can I get you anything to drink? Okay, can I get anything to drink? Yes, I'll have a glass of mineral water. Okay, so A is done for you. A is number four. B. Are you ready to order? Okay, are you ready to order? And the match is with number five. Yes, I am. Thank you. C. What would you like for a starter? Okay, what would you like for a starter? And that will be the best match is number one. French onion soup, please. D. And for your main course? And for your main course will be the best match is number three. I have steak, please. E. Would you like a dessert? Yeah, would you like a dessert? And of course, this is the last one with no other choice is number two. No, thanks. I'm full. I'll just have a coffee, please. Okay. That's very good. So again, let's move on to the next uh, slide. Now, this exercise will be, uh, we have a different option here. So we listen to the <clears throat> the waiter again, and we reply by answering based on the picture here. Okay, let us hear the question again. Recording 16. A. Can I get you anything to drink? Okay, can I get you anything to drink? And uh, what can we see in this picture? It's a it's a glass of orange juice. So, yes, I'll have a glass of orange juice, please. Okay, next one. B. Are you ready to order? Yes, please. C. What would you like for a starter? Okay, uh, for a starter, I would like to have a salad. D. And for your main course? Uh, for the main course, I think I would like uh, fish and chips. E. Would you like a dessert? Oh, definitely. I would like a dessert. Can I have a piece of that yummy chocolate cake? Okay. That's, uh, that will be all. And then in your book, please write down uh, what you just have here. Okay. Or what you have just heard. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. So here, I will explain to you that in English, there are two or four major country uh, have uh, English language. Yeah. So the first one is uh, British. Second one is American English. Okay. So British and American English are sometimes different. Yes. Uh, it says here that uh, if you are uh, already adapt in the American English, so please use the standard American English language, okay? But if you already adapt with the British English, so please use the standard British English. Don't mix them up. Okay? Jangan sekali-sekali dicampur aduk. Kadang kamu pakai British, kadang kamu pakai uh, American. Jangan. Kalau udah pakai American, just go with the American. Kalau kamu udah pakai British, just go with the British, okay? And then, kadang juga 
ada juga yang namanya Canadian English, okay? And then we have Australian English, ya. Yeah? Terus nanti di British juga ada tiga lagi, tiga uh, gaya bicara, ya. Yeah? We have Wales, we have Scottish, and we have Irish. Ya, itu mereka beda sekali dialeknya beda sekali ya jadi harus hati-hati oke okay? so here in British uh, sorry for okay first we in British we have starter ya and in America we have appetizer ya biasanya kalau starter appetizer itu uh, makanan pembuka ya lain halnya kalau orang Indonesia orang Indonesia itu langsung makanan utama nggak ada makanan pembuka paling makanan pembuka ya nggak uh, ada sih Kalau di sana biasanya sup, ya. Tapi kalau di sini kalau pas apa acara pengantenan itu ada ya, kadang ada sup dulu, and then uh, main course ya, yeah. and then uh, dessert gitu ya, kayak piring tofu bang gitu ya. So yeah, it's almost the same as that one. Okay, and then we have in British we have the main course, ya. Yeah. Main course itu hidangan utama. And then the American style they have called entry, yeah, main course in British, main entry in America. And then if you ask for the the receipt of your uh, your meal, yeah, in British they call it the bill, and American they call it a check, yeah. Can I have the check please? Jadi kalau orang bilang check itu biasanya American English. Kalau uh, ada orang bilang bill, oh berarti dia menggunakan British English, okay? So here I give you a learning tips, yeah. If possible, prepare yourself before you listen or speak in English. Jadi kalau kita mau berhadapan dengan native speaker, kita harus uh, mempersiapkan diri untuk apa? Listeningnya very carefully and then speaknya juga very slowly and carefully, okay? Think of the language that you might hear. So when uh, a native speaker uh, talk, you have to listen what type of language is he using. Is he using American English or is he using uh, British English? Okay, and what you might need to say. Yeah, that one. Yeah, kita harus hati-hati juga uh, pengucapannya harus uh, pengembaliannya pakai American juga atau pakai British juga. Okay. And then speaking, understanding the menu. So here we got speaking strategy, asking about dishes on a menu. Right. So dishes itu adalah hidangan ya, bukan piring kotor. Oke. Okay? Kadang um, you might refer dishes itu kayak uh, you help your mom in the kitchen ya, itu doing the dishes ya. Tapi dishes ini adalah hidangan. Oke. Okay? So you can use the expression in bold to ask someone to explain something on the menu. Yeah, for example, excuse me, what's a Caesar salad? Okay, and then what's in the Mexican grill? And then can you tell me what the house special is, please? Yeah, jadi di sini ada penekanan ya. Jadi kalau kita ingin menanyakan sesuatu, kita tekan yang what's a Caesar salad. Okay, what's in the Mexican grill? Can you tell me what's this house special is? Okay. So, so here, look at the menu and imagine you are in a restaurant. You want to want the waiter to explain what these dishes are. What can you say? Speak your answer. Okay. I want you to practice at home. Try to express yourself. So practice using a mirror. Ya, jadi kalian latihan di rumah, misalnya di kamar, belajar mengucapkan ini di depan kaca. Okay. So excuse me, what's a Waldorf salad? Okay. And then excuse me, what's a spaghetti carano carbonara? And excuse me, what's Mexican chicken? And then what? Excuse me, what's a summer fruit pudding? Okay.